Hi, Kirk Newcomb here for In Good Company. Tonight we're in downtown Jackson at the Carl Perkins Civic Center to attend the Blue Suede Dinner and Auction Spectacular. And it is to raise money for the Carl Perkins Center for the Prevention of Child Abuse. It's actually the second biggest fundraiser that they'll have throughout the year. And all of the money raised will go directly to the centers for the prevention of child abuse. And while the meaning and the reason for tonight might be somber, the night surely won't be with all of the silent auction items, the live auction items, a wonderful meal prepared ahead of time, and Diamond Rio is the entertainment you can't go wrong. You can have a great time and all the money raised will go for the prevention of child abuse. Let's catch up to Kirk Gehring and Ginger French, the chair and co-chair of this event, and see what words they have for us tonight. We start planning for this event uh, usually in August of the prior year, and so we, it takes us six to eight months to, to get this event put together takes numerous volunteers. I think on uh, the various subcommittees, I, I was the chairman this year, Ginger French was the co-chairman. I think we had 16 different subcommittees to actually put this thing together. So e each subcommittee probably has 10 people working under them. So to put something on like this, it's really an amazing task to get that many people together working on one task. And so to actually see it come together and and uh, it seems like you put it together in a day or two just because obviously they had the boat show the weekend before, they had uh, Taste of Jackson the day before. Uh, we put this thing together literally in like two days. And so obviously we didn't hear about the snow until uh, I think the day before. Um, the challenges this year was the economy. Uh, obviously the economy uh, held us from selling what we had sold the year before of 112 tables just to I think 95, 96 tables. But we thought that was just, that was wonderful. Um, then with the record 40 year snow and putting those two things together on the same night made it a challenging event for us. But uh, what we did this year and the year from years prior, uh, we, tried to, we tried to step up the event every year just a little bit more, just make it a little bit nicer. Uh, this year again we went back with the elegant, the elegant theme that Anita Hamilton, the chair last year, kind of put in place for us. Uh, we really tried to focus on the stage and the technology on the stage. Uh, we had fog machines, three different high definition uh, TV screens, we had a video. So we had some things this year that we didn't have from prior years and uh, I think it came together wonderfully. Our goal is to make this event the premier event every year, that, that this is the event that everyone wants to come to. Uh, every year we try to step it up just a little bit, whether it be again in entertainment, food, uh, live auction items, silent auction items, we try to step it up, make it, make it different than anything else that's out there. Um, you know, the true facts of the matter is what it means to me is, is I'm a numbers guy, I'm a banker. When you look at the statistics, just this one statistics alone, just statistic breaks my, it just, it, it hurts my heart, it blows my mind. Uh, every day there is four children that are killed by, uh, by child abuse. Every day, four children die from child abuse. Three of those children are under the age of four. These are children that can't protect themselves, they can't make decisions, and sadly they don't know any different. They don't know that this is out of the ordinary, that this is something that uh, should not be occurring and so what it means to us is is for you you me anybody who comes and supports this event we're gonna make a difference in the life of these child our, our theme this year was I believe which is a song from Diamond Rio and, and of course we got their clearance to use that but uh, ultimately that goes to what is in the hearts and minds of our volunteers our staff of everybody who comes and supports the center is that one person believes that they can make a difference and that's what keeps bringing us back and hopefully we'll keep bringing people back to our event we had really great committees. I mean, that's what uh, to us makes it so easy is we have the Exchange Club and such a great community and uh, it makes it really easy to pull these things off because all these great people come together and uh, do what they need to do to, to make the event come off in such a positive way. We were surprised uh, looking out into the crowd, um, seeing as many faces as we did on such the night, uh, having the, the big snow. Um, and then for everybody to stay uh, to the end of the show, not only staying to the end of the show, but then beating on the stage, um, wanting Diamond Rio to do an encore um, at the end was just absolutely just amazing. And it just, it really was the icing on the cake. It, it, it shows you what, what a, um, what a town, what a community that we live in. Um, not only do they put their time and their money into something, but they put their heart into the event also. You can find out more about In Good Company anytime on the web at WBBJTV.com, then go to In Good Company.